A few of you may have wondered where I've been. Most of you probably didn't notice I was missing. But the reason I've been missing is because I've been occupied 100% of the time because I got a puppy. This is Boris. He is a Scottish Terrier. He is 10 weeks old, maybe 11 weeks. I'd have to count. He was born June 19th. We got him August 13th. And he has been a handful. I got a Scotty because some of you may know that I grew up with Scotties my whole life. And so they are special to me. So today's soap is going to be inspired by Boris. So <laughs> it's been practically impossible to try to make soap. I haven't made soap for a whole month. So our fragrance oil today that we're going to use is Black Raspberry Vanilla. I've never used Nurture Soap's Black Raspberry Vanilla. I have used Candle Science version of this, and I've also used Nature's Garden version of this. And I loved both of those, so let's see how this one goes. What's going to be included in our soap today is some sugar, kale and clay. I have to constantly keep my eye on that boy. Soap dough, activated charcoal, blue sky mica, green vibrance mica, some soap shreds, melt and pour, which I've already melted and poured into some little Scotty molds. And then also I'm very excited. I got a new tool. I got an extruder. This was a gift from the wonderful Renee. And I'm going to extrude out some little white flowers for my very first extruding experience. So I'm going to keep it simple. It might take me a while to make this soap because I'll have to be uh, making sure that he... I'm probably going to have to wait for him to fall asleep because I can't possibly be making soap, dealing with lye or raw soap, and then having to go take care of Boris. I also wanted to make this soap before he got his first haircut. So he's still a fuzzy, fluffy, hairy mammoth. Aren't you? Hmm? Yeah. What was that? My first time using an extruder. I hope it goes okay. This is really exciting. I'm gonna try to make some little flowers. Here we go. And there's my first extruded flower. Well, Boris slept while I prepared all my oils and then he woke up and now my oils are cooled a lot. I don't usually soap this cool. We're at 86 degrees on our oils, 85 degrees on our lye. So I typically soap at about 100 degrees. Here's our lye water. I forgot to mention in my intro that I also included six ounces of lilac infused olive oil because I wanted to finish that one jar I had. And so there are a few specks in here from that olive oil because I did strain it, but I didn't coffee filter strain it. I just strained it with a regular. We'll add in our fragrance oil as well as the kale and clay, sugar, and there is some sodium lactate in here as well. Add a little bit into this green, green vibrance, remember. It was dispersed in some oil already. And this is where our soap shreds are going to end up. This fragrance seems to be behaving very nicely. And here we've got our flowers we extruded. I covered them in Yes, activated charcoal. Need to move it over. Then this one. This one. We'll add our Scotties. So there's Scotty in bed. And we're gonna put in our last flower. I'm adding flowers because Boris loves to roll around, play in 
weeds and flowers and grass. That is why he gets flowers in his soap. Now we'll pour some blue and then we're gonna add white for clouds. This is really full, so I'm gonna wait for it to thicken a little bit and then we'll texture. All right, so we can do a little swish since it's a sky. If you hear these noises in the background, that's Boris having some, some lunch. We have one of those keep him busy type toys where you hide food inside this thing and he has to work to get his food. He likes it. He has fun doing it. He likes to eat too, so that's probably part of it. See you for the cut. Boy, am I excited. It's been so long since I've made soap. It's tomorrow. Oh, here it comes. If you hear a squeaky toy, I'll give you two guesses to guess what that is. Let's see if we can hit hit the uh, embed here. Oh, we barely got it. Barely. <laughs> Should have gone over just a little bit more. That's okay. Oh, how nice. Look at the flowers in the field. How cute. This is actually my first time using melt and pour as the embed. Look at that. Smells very good. Black raspberry vanilla, wonderful. I don't know how many of you use Instagram, but I made Boris his own little Instagram. And we've been taking pictures and video for the past four weeks of his adventures so far. I have to say I'm a fan of using melt and pour for an embed. It's very crisp. And it was actually easier to make in the cold process uh, Scotty embed. Well, I'm really satisfied with how my Boris soap turned out. Boris is taking a nap, finally. You probably hear the white noise of a fan. It helps him sleep. Black raspberry vanilla is very good. Each company has their own version of it, and they don't all smell the same, but they all smell good. Nurture Soap's version of black raspberry vanilla kind of has along with the black raspberry vanilla smell also kind of has like a suntan lotion smell to it so it's more of a summery type of fragrance it's a very fresh and clean fragrance but yeah i smell a little suntan lotion which wasn't in the candle science or nature's garden version of raspberry vanilla i am very pleased with the fragrance i'm very pleased with its performance and so far no discoloration we did our side stand. Funny thing, well, not funny. Ironic thing, so rats are my like favorite, one of my favorite creatures in the world. And that is my logo, a rat. Mizumi means rat in Japanese. So the funny thing, ironic thing, is that Scottish Terriers were bred to be vermin catchers and rats were kind of the main vermin involved in that, so they're kind of rat catchers. I have grown up with Scotties, as I've said, 
my whole life. I've had rats since I was like 12-ish and I've never had an incident, but my Scotties have definitely been interested in my rats, but there's never been any problems. I have actually introduced Boris to Rocky and he almost seems shy, like he's not sure is he supposed to greet this rat or is he, what is he, like he's almost even afraid to smell him. He's more interested in the rats when they're not right up in his face. Like he likes to look at them from a distance and be very excited and watch them. When he's actually face to face, he's shy. He's like, kind of like the difference between talking to someone in real life and talking to someone on the internet. You're so brave when you're not being confrontational to their face. So, happens in the animal world too. Sorry if my lack of presence on YouTube made you concerned for my well-being. It probably didn't make you concerned because you probably didn't notice. Thank you for watching to the end of my video if you did. If you did, let me know what your favorite dog breed is. I have met a lot of dog breeds because I used to work at a doggy daycare. I also worked at Petco as a dog trainer. I've met a lot of dogs. I love all the dogs. There are definitely breeds that I like better than others because even though there is an exception to every dog breed rule, their personality, typically they're, they all do kind of follow along in their checklist of what kind of behaviors they're going to have. Boris is lining up perfectly with the Scottish Terrier personality. He is a strong-willed, stubborn dog, but I think I'm more strong-willed and more stubborn than him. Anyway, I'm talking too much. See you next time.